Next figure we're going to be taking a look at today is the TIE Fighter Pilot from the Vintage Collection. Uh, this particular one I have is the re-release that came out around last spring. I picked this up at Walmart around April of 2021. Uh, it's a good figure. I have a whole bunch of TIE Pilots that is, as it is, so it's nice to have an additional one. Unfortunately, I don't have the original Vintage Collection release. So this was a good opportunity for me. Take a look at the package here. Interesting image that they decided to use. Just a regular TIE Fighter. Uh, this is a re release, as I said, VC-65. Uh, I have most, I have all four of these. I'm expecting the armor in the mail. The moth as well. Missing the Mandalorian and Captain Rex. I might skip out on the Rex. If I can find this one for a good price, eventually I will. So like I said, this is the re-release of the original TIE Fighter Pilot in the Vintage Collection. Uh, this is a, about a 13-year-old mold at this point, and I really like it. I know a lot of people say they wish that Hasbro would update it, or in, that it needs an update, and I would like to see a take on it. I think the Death Star Gunner's body would be very good for this. That was uh, released in the Rogue One Vintage Collection logo. Uh, about maybe two years ago now. So it'll be interesting to see a different take on this, but I like this mold as it is. I think it's definitely held up over the years. Now one interesting thing about this is, is it's technically not a standard TIE Fighter pilot. This is actually Lieutenant Oxio that they just released on a standard five TIE Fighter pilot card. I do have that particular figure on hand. It's pretty much the same thing as this, except minus the head underneath is not photo real. Which we'll take a look at it in a second. As I said, he can take it off. He has that photoreal clone head. And this one turned out really well. And there's the helmet there. Some good detail on there has a glossy finish to it. I'm not sure if you can take the tubes out on this one. I don't want to attempt to risk breaking it. But it's not a hard helmet to take off. Uh, he's very articulated. He holds up for the times, I think. Of course, he has the ball hinged head and then the shoulders, elbows, and just swivel wrists, which is fine with me. And then just a swivel waist. Or wait. No, I don't think this one actually has a swivel waist. Yeah. If it does, it's a very hard one to turn. But anyways, swivel hip there, hinged knees, and no articulation in the ankles, which I'm not really that bothered by it. I know a lot of people are. I can understand why, but for my purposes, it's no problem. And just as one accessory is just this blaster here, which fits well in his holster.
that really paint detail on it. So yeah, that's the TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting one. Especially if you're looking to expand your Empire collection. It's definitely a great figure to have. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. And keep an eye out for the next review.